Hello everyone, it's your host, your friend, your boy, Jeff Black, the one and only, here with another exciting video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about uh, some of the most recent tweets regarding the CIA analysis and assessment of the gateway process declassified document. Uh, this is a document that was released back in 2003, is about 17 years old. Um, but as of the end of last month, a lot of people have suddenly taken note of this document, um, and there's been a lot of misinformation flying around about it. Uh, some people are stating that the document uh, was like brand new and that it was released this year. That's not true. Um, a lot of people were stating that the document was leaked, meaning that the CIA didn't actually want to release it. It was like someone uh, discovered the document and like put it online. Also not true. Um, a lot of people are also downplaying the contents of the document, um, saying that the document proves that like the law of attraction exists and that that's real. Uh, and the reason why I'm saying that they're downplaying it is because the document makes far greater claims than just the law of attraction is real. The document talks about the idea of like astral projection, other dimensions, time travel, and a number of other psychic abilities just being like a real thing. And it tries to explain all these things uh, through scientific terms. Now, um, do I believe that all those things are real necessarily based on this document? No. Essentially what the document is doing is the CIA were already by this time convinced that psychic abilities were a real thing. Uh, if you actually dig into the CIA files a little bit further, before this document was written, they were already trying to use psychic abilities to spy on people. Uh, and you can find logs where they talk about like remote viewing experiments and stuff like that. Um, the whole purpose of this paper was to try and explain scientifically how it would work under the assumption that it was already real. Um, so essentially what that means is that they're not using science to try and prove the existence for anything or to provide evidence for the existence of anything. They're just trying to say, if it was real, assuming that it is, how would it work? Which is something that you can literally do with any piece of fiction. Uh, for example, you can probably just Google the science of Superman or whatever and find tons of articles where people are like, if Superman was real, how would his abilities work from like a scientific point of view? And there are also plenty of YouTubers who do stuff like that already, like game theory and film theory. Uh, they'll go into like, if Sonic was real, how fast would he actually be running? And da -na -na -na. Um, And videos like Death Battle that try to like calculate how much uh, like real world force like a Superman punch would deal based on like feats. Essentially the stuff that they're doing in those videos about fictional stuff is what this analysis and assessment of the gateway process CIA document is doing. But it's making larger claims because of the fact that it's not just assuming that the thing is real for the sake of like argument or discussion, it's like they actually believe that it is real, and that's why the files were initially classified in the first place, because they didn't want um, like foreign governments or threats to the United States to know about the existence of psychic abilities and stuff like that. It was a different time. The, the government was in like their weird psychic phase, uh, and I don't think it's like that anymore. And I wouldn't take anything in this document as being like the end all be all. Oh man, I guess all these psychic abilities are real and other dimensions and time travel. And it even talks about like interdimensional entities and how to like protect yourself from them and stuff like that. All that stuff, um, they're not providing evidence. They're just trying to analyze it from like a scientific point of view, but that's not evidence. But since the end of last month, there have been articles coming out, a flood of tweets, YouTube videos, people talking about it on like podcast, uh, like among like multiple other people discussing it. 
Uh, people have been doing like YouTube premieres based around talking about it. A lot of people have been trying to like promote products related to like the law of attraction and stuff like that, using the hype over these documents as a way for them to sell these products. Um, people have been trying to trick others into visiting malicious websites, claiming that if you want to learn how to harness the abilities that are mentioned in the document, then go over to this website and then you click on the website and it's like a phishing scam or whatever. You got to be careful. Uh, there's a lot of misinformation. There's a lot of people trying to take advantage of it for marketing purposes. And there are a lot of people who just don't know any better. They're just regurgitating whatever they've heard on Twitter or whatever they've now seen on TikTok, apparently, because the trend of talking about these documents and getting super hype about these documents has now flooded over into TikTok. There are now a whole bunch of TikToks talking about these CIA files. I don't know why there was this sudden interest in these documents. I don't know why people are trying to say that the documents are new. I don't know why people are trying to say that the documents are leaked. I don't know why people are making such big claims about the documents without reading them. Some people are even saying that these documents either support their existing spiritual or religious beliefs, and other people are saying that these documents are forming their like religious or spiritual beliefs. Like now that they've been enlightened by the document, like this is like what they believe in. Um, and as hype about these documents continue to grow and more and more people continue to post about them, you end up seeing like crazier and crazier responses from people, uh, especially on social media, which only is helping to like share additional misconceptions and misinformation about the topic. Uh, so I'm going to go through these latest tweets talking about uh, the CIA analysis and assessment of the gateway process. Uh, so let's scroll through these tweets together. Uh, so Kells Colsoy said, y'all ever make the connection between the law of attraction, the CIA document analysis and assessment of the gateway process, and Mark 1124 in the Bible? The Bible. He writes the Bible like it's the baby, the rapper. Uh, and then he said, bruh, I'm not familiar with Mark 1124. If anybody here is good with like Bible quotes, you just know that off the top of your head, feel free to tell me in the comment section below. What is that? What is that? What is that Bible quote? What does it say? Um, and it's interesting to see people uh, actually trying to connect it to the Bible. Believe it or not, that CIA document has a whole section where it tries to talk about how if all of this stuff is real, then how does it connect to like religion? And I was actually really surprised that it seems like mainly new age religions were getting really hype. Like people who were involved in like new age religious or spiritual practices were the ones who were getting super hype about the document. But the document talks a good bit about like uh, judo Christian beliefs and the fact that like judo Christian beliefs don't um, conflict with their findings on like the psychic ability stuff and everything like they were trying to say if you're christian don't think that this stuff somehow goes against like your religion it's really weird that that sign the cia document is weird for like a number of reasons but i found it interesting that it does go as far as to try and connect itself to christianity but i hadn't seen anyone actually try to connect it to Christianity, like within their tweets. And I was kind of relieved about that. I was like, there's already a lot of misinformation and a lot of like unnecessary hype about these documents. I feel like if people do start drawing like the Christianity connection, uh, it might get a little weird because I feel like it's already this weird bandwagon. And I feel like connecting it to something that a lot of people already kind of believe in heavily and try not to question and then trying to make them one in the same, similar to how the document tries to be like, yeah, they don't conflict, all this stuff goes together. If you try to make it like that, then it gets to the point where you could easily misinform someone and say like, well, if you believe in Christianity, then you should believe in these CIA documents or whatever, because it didn't. Uh, but I think we're slowly getting closer to people doing that. 
I'm like, no, stop it. Stop it before it starts. Don't do that. Um, they also say that it doesn't conflict with, like, Eastern religions. Uh, there are, like, a lot of different excerpts in the document that talk about different things like that. Um, but, uh, also, what's this meme? Is that, like, a... At first, I thought this was like a Spongebob meme that was deep fried, but now I have no idea what that is. Tell me what this meme's from. Uh, scrolling down, we have, uh, Love, Love Yeah Love, or Love Nia Love. Uh, the font's messing me up on that, like, middle word. I think it's Love Yeah Love, uh, at Jessica Mullen. Anyone interested in out-of-body experiences and dimensions of consciousness, check out these 17 TikToks explaining the declassified document about the gateway process. And then they have a link to the actual CIA doc. And I'll be adding a link to the document in the description box below so that you guys can read it. Um, I might do a whole other video just reacting to like the TikToks. It sucks that it's on TikTok now, because TikTok's a continually growing um, like social media platform that seems to be really good about starting trends quickly. Um, 17 TikToks. Yeah, it's like this already was going super viral on Twitter. People have been talking about this since the end of like last month. And it's still going and more people are talking about stuff. This post was from yesterday. This post was from like 10 hours ago. <laughs> so it's like people are still really hype about it. People are still talking about it. Uh, and now it's gone from being all over Twitter to being in like internet articles to being in YouTube videos to now it's on TikTok. It's spreading really fast and I've been documenting the spread uh, trying to keep track of like how the hype train has continued to move and grow and evolve and I'm just kind of waiting for it to die like how all trends do eventually especially since a lot of this is based on people not really thinking critically about any of the stuff um, but I'm not sure if it will die and if people really are like reshaping their like religious or spiritual beliefs around it and if people are saying, well, it supports my existing religious or spiritual beliefs, so they're just like assimilating it into it, it seems to be like this document is so easy to like spread and evolve to form with like any like pre-existing religious beliefs that you might have, that it just makes it like really easy for people to swallow it and to just kind of accept it without necessarily thinking about it any further or trying to think about it any further or trying to think about it critically. Uh, but gosh, it's it's spreading too much. Uh, please, please help to like stop the spread of like misinformation on these documents. They were written back in like 1983. Any science that they would have used to like describe these things is behind like modern science and like I said, they weren't trying to find evidence that these things existed. They're just trying to explain if they do exist, how would they work scientifically, which is just a different thing. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't think it's good that it's continuing, it's continuing to grow like that. Uh, next up, we got Luna, uh, who has, what is that symbol in her name? You can put like symbols and stuff in your name on Twitter. I'm not a Twitter guy. Luna Ed Zintik? Zin, Zinitik? I don't know how to say that name. My apologies. Uh, but they're replying to Lucent Parker and God's Lucifer. And they said, I literally practice witchcraft. Of course I think it's real. You can always research it or read the CIA documents on the gateway process that basically explain the principles of witchcraft. Now, I do have to give Luna some credit. Uh, a lot of people, like I mentioned before, have been saying that the document, like, proves that the law of attraction exists, but it actually is more talking about just straight up magic. There's a section of the document that's called patterning, where it explains the process of being able to manipulate reality to essentially do anything that you want. But like the crazier the manipulation, the longer it will take 
for um, what you're trying to manifest to actually manifest into reality. And they're like, you can't force it to manifest any faster or you'll be disjointed or dislocated from reality. You got to check it out. You got to check it out on the document. It's like a really crazy part of the document. But as soon like if you accept that that part of the document is real, you are just straight up accepting that like magic is real. That goes way beyond the law of attraction, which is like if you think positive thoughts, positive things will come to you. Patterning is just straight up saying magic is real. It's just like period. Um, but again, you shouldn't really jump into believing anything in the document. At the very least, if you do claim to believe in stuff that's located in the document, I recommend thinking critically about it and trying to see if it holds up to just like a critical assessment of the document. And if it does, then that's good. But if it doesn't, and you've just kind of been riding a hype train without really looking any deeper into what the document's actually saying, then you probably shouldn't believe in it. That's all I'm saying. Uh, moving on, Darren at uh, Snicker DJ said the CIA gateway process is very eye-opening to say the least. I mean, that's not really saying much of anything at all. Uh, part of the thing that I don't like about Twitter is that tweets are so short, you can't, like people don't have the time to say a lot unless they do like a whole thread of tweets. And at that point you should just like write an article. Like you can't really say anything of substance really on Twitter. Um, but that's like vague hype which I feel like will get people to like look it up and look into it and they'll probably get lost in the tweet flood. Uh, let's see, Ishan at Hey Ishan replying to Anush Anushkaka uh, said CIA paper subject analysis and assessment of gateway process dated 9 June 1983. Um, so this is good. To see someone essentially talking about how like, hey, you know, these documents, they are not like leaked and they're not, uh, they're not leaked and they're not new. They were written back in like 1983. Like, I guess it's good that they're essentially saying when they're dated, you know what I mean? But again, they're not really saying anything more. Now it is a reply to something, so maybe someone else said it was new and then he's replying going like nah like i, I just read the document it says it isn't new I, I don't know enough context but there's nothing bad about what he's saying by itself like without the additional context that that seems good to me that he's just saying that it's from like 1983. i feel like that could help clear some misinformation for some people at the very least uh van Blaricom at J Van Blaricom said thoughts solid matter in the strict construction of the term simply does not exist. CIA report on the gateway process. So the document also talks about the idea that like the universe is a hologram and that's led to a lot of misconceptions because it's talking about a hologram in a different sense from uh, what a lot of people are construing it as. A lot of people are construing it as, oh, we live in like a simulation. Like it's trying to say that we're like in the matrix, like we're in a computer. It's not talking about holograms in that way. They're not trying to say that we're like Tron people or something. Um, the document is talking more about the idea that like everyone's like energy beings, which is also pretty crazy as well. You know what I mean? Um, but that's more in the direction that it's coming from and that the idea that like everything is energy. Um, so that's what that quote is talking about in the context of the CIA document. But some people are misconstruing it as like nothing solid exists because we're all like code in the hologram or something. And that's not that's not what they're trying to say. Um, but moving on from there, uh, we have Dr. Mike Hawkburns. Uh, it kind of messes with me that he has a doctor in his name. Is he like an actual doctor? Because I hope people who are actual doctors aren't pushing the stuff as being like, yo, evidence, real thing, da 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 But they're saying the same thing that the last person said. They said, 
solid matter and the strict construction of the term simply does not exist, say a report on the gateway process. Why is that? Why are people gravitating toward that quote but not saying anything else about it? it again, this goes back to like the Twitter problem. You can't say anything super meaningful on Twitter because you don't have enough space. So you just end up saying like loose quotes that don't connect to anything else, which is probably part of the reason why the CIA gateway process stuff is trending so heavily on Twitter because people are just saying these little like snippets. And I guess if you see enough of these snippets and you just go, well, I guess it's real, then you just end up going with the flow on it uh, and just accepting it without really looking into it. Um, but that goes back to like the 17th. I'll probably stop there in the scrolling through like the latest tweets. I'm sure we'll be getting more fairly soon considering that all the tweets that we looked at today uh, either came out today or came out within like a few days of today. So there are going to be more. And if people are talking about it on TikTok, then there are going to be TikToks. And I'm sure there are new YouTube videos and all sorts of things that we can look into together in the future. Uh, but definitely let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and or on our Discord um, about the gateway process. Do you believe in the documents? Uh, have you like looked over the documents and like done your own like critical thinking on them? Uh, and do you feel like the science holds up to you? Do you feel like the documents prove that these things exist? Um, what are your thoughts on the fact that the documents have suddenly been like trending and the fact that they're being spread and that there's so much misinformation about the documents? Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below and on our Discord. Thank you all for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button, favorite, comment, subscribe, and ding, 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 ring the notification bell to be notified whenever we do these videos. This is your host, your friend, your boy, Jet Black, the one only, vlogging out. Peace, chicka da